A few months ago, I threw together this experiment using a 25 watt light bulb to ballast an F8 T5 fluorescent tube. Now, this originally was designed to just plug into the mains. I can turn it on now. There's a little starter down there. You can see it glowing. It's flickering. It sometimes takes a while or it takes a little bit of a capacitive touch. There it goes. That starts up. So the bulb got dimmer because now about half the voltage is dropped across the little incandescent and the other half is dropped across this fluorescent tube. And the tube runs at about normal brightness. However, since this is a non-inductive ballast and simply it's just a big hot resistor, I'm going to see if I can run this off of my DC power supply. Then also see if I can get it to start at one voltage, how low I can dim it before it goes out. So, on to that. So, because there is no AC peak, this thing will begin to attempt starting at usually around 120 volts. However, it cannot actually strike the tube. So, it needs a little bit of an extra boost from this little grill igniter. And now the circuit is running normally. It's drawing 26.8 watts, though uh, almost 40 volt amps because of the rectifier. But there is a small fluorescent tube running on direct current. Now, another very interesting thing I can do is if I turn the variac down and just reduce the voltage, the tube itself doesn't get too much dimmer, but the incandescent light bulb does. And I've found it's possible to actually tune this thing down until it is just barely drawing more power than the tube needs to run. The incandescent is drawing current through it, but is not lit. The voltage is now down to about 78, a little under 78, and it's barely drawing more power than it takes to run the fluorescent tube during normal operation. So, there you have it, a fluorescent tube running on 77.8 volts DC with a resistive ballast. That's all. Thanks for watching.